and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hainick, physical therapist. And together we are the most. Together we have the most f famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course. It's kind of cool that we got this apple here. It's real appropriate here today, Brad. Right, our, it uh, is because uh, diet. right because it's uh, yeah plant based diet. We got apple here. We're going to eat it after this for lunch, and uh, we've got Craig here, who is uh, basically we consider him an expert in the field. Uh, Craig, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, um, my name is Craig Martin. Um, I'm currently um, going through the master's program at UW La Crosse. Uh, and I am focusing on heart disease reversal in uh, patients with cardiovascular disease. Okay. Um, and and you were saying that th the same principles also apply to diabetes, uh, type, two, ty type 2 diabetes, and also arthritis, that some of these things would benefit that. That, that is correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're, we're looking at a whole foods plant-based diet, which um, does not contain animal products. Um, no fish, no fowl, no turkey, um, no... Oh, you name it. You name the animal. If it has sure. a face or a mother, don't <laughs> eat it. <laughs> um, and then we're also looking at removing refined oils, such as olive oil, even extra, extra, extra virgin olive oil. Um, it, studies have shown that extra virgin olive oil does contain trans fat, and trans fats negatively impact cardiovascular health. Okay. So avoiding olive oils um, can reduce your risk of increasing LDL cholesterol level, which then leads to a heart attack. So we're so, talking pretty true plant-based. Yeah, very true plant-based. Okay. But I, I'm back. Um, I think we had this discussion before we went on air here is that, you know, we know that a lot of people will not be able to do this strict diet. But I think even movement in this direction, you know, and with towards some of these foods is going to help you. Oh, you overall, without a doubt. I mean, that, you know. Yeah, you're, you're definitely right. The more we can move to a, a whole foods, plant-based diet, the more it will help everyone right. um, in, in all aspects of their life. Sure. Uh, the reason we preach um, a whole foods, plant-based diet without any of the added oils, without any of the animal products, is that some people, even a small amount, can adversely affect their health. Um, I personally experienced benefits. I used to have asthma. I had asthma for 30 years of my life, and when I started following a whole foods plant-based diet, my asthma disappeared. Wow. Um, and that's, I that's noticed that when I have a, even a little bit of dairy, my asthma comes back, and so I avoid it. And I was able to go from, I, I completed a, a marathon, I almost qualified for Boston. Okay. Uh, my first marathon ever in my life, and I could barely run before. I mean, I would, I would be wheezing for days almost. Sure. Uh, because my asthma would flare up, wow. and just, removing that dairy product, that was all it took. My asthma disappeared. So what, what about, okay, I always hear about how good like salmon is, because this is what I eat. I eat a lot of salmon and the omegas, and uh, so there's something negative about salmon too, or? Well, what we have to realize is that when, when we eat food from the ocean, what is in the ocean? We have PCBs, we have mercury. These animals are like sponges. They soak up all that PCB and mercury, and there are warning labels on fish that say, you know, be careful of the mercury level in fish. And as we know, mercury adversely affects the brain. It helps, it, it adversely affects the immune system, um, you know, our, every system in the body. So yes, while fish may have omega-3 fatty acids, we also have to realize that omega-3 fatty acids actually occur naturally in plants. They're not made in fish themselves. The fish eat smaller fish, which eat algae, and that's how they get their omega-3s. So through so, the system, the ecosystem. Can you name right. some other plants where it might be? In? I mean, are the, are oh, the plants that, omega three? That, um, that, that, that we would have access to? In, in yeah, definitely. Um, so flaxseed, for example, oh, contains sure. a lot of omega-6. Um, chia seed contains a lot of omega-6. I'm writing these down. Um, <laughs> I guess I can watch the video later, too. Yeah. yeah um, you can you can get it from broccoli, kale, okay. uh, spinach. Um, I eat spinach. <laughs> there you go. There, there you go. go. Yeah, a lot um, of spinach. Yeah, or cantaloupe, um, huh. muskmelon. Uh, there's a lot of foods that have a lot of uh, high omega three uh, fatty acid content, even cauliflower. So great. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm on that. I'm on that route, Brad. Yeah. I've so 
Getting back to the, the bigger picture of, of this diet or shifting, what yeah. are some 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 suggestions that you are going to make? You know, you want to make oh, to sure. the viewers? It's, yeah. Um, so what we found, or not what I've found, but what research has found is that um, when you cut these foods out, there, the Institute of Medicine, which is one of the most prestigious bodies in the U.S., said that there's no safe level of cholesterol consumption to consume in the diet on a daily basis, there's zero. So anytime you consume an animal product, that's the only place cholesterol is found in the diet. So if you consume any animal, you're getting cholesterol. Uh, the Institute of Medicine also says that you should not be consuming trans fats. Trans fats are found in oils and animal products and partially in, in fully hydrogenated oils. Um, another thing that we're not supposed to get out is a lot of saturated fat. Those three components increase LDL cholesterol production in the liver. So avoiding those will essentially decrease that production. So where are major sources of, of uh, saturated fats and trans fats? They're found in oils, animal products, um, coconut oil, palm oil, palm kernel oil, coconut milk, um, coconut cream. Which is interesting because it seems like they're really pushing coconut milk as a healthy alternative now, right. yeah. which I, I had never done any of the research on, so I had no idea. Of the, I just saw it this morning, in fact. I'm like, now, is coconut milk really good for you or not? I mean, <laughs> you know. But yeah, and, and it's interesting because there's, there's studies that show that it really has no effect. I, it, it's really not good for you. It raises LDL cholesterol levels. Most of the studies, they compare it to butter, and they say, well, it's better than butter. Well, I mean, that's like... <laughs> I mean, sure, it's all relative. Right, sure. yeah. I mean, come on. It's, there was another study where they were pitting hostess Twinkies against uh, another Twinkie from sure. an angel soft Twinkie or something yeah. like that. And it's like, you can't, so what? You know, that's a They're little They're both healthier. the devil. They're both not good for <laughs> yeah. you. So, sure. I mean, there's, there's a lot of studies out there that aren't necessarily great, great studies. Can, can you talk, I'm sure the one that maybe throws people off a little bit is that how diet can actually affect arthritis. Because yeah. I, I, I'm sure they're thinking, well, you're kidding. Arthritis, isn't that just a deterioration of the joint? And why would, why would your diet affect that? Right. Well, there's, there's two different types of arthritis. We have the osteo, and mm -hmm. then we have the rheumatoid. Uh, or rheumatoid. And what plant-based diets have found is that when, when you, or what researchers have found is that when you remove this inflammatory, uh, inflammatory foods from the diet, um, which are high in omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6s are found in meat products, um, in refined oils, uh, in, well, I guess that's really about it. Sure. And those things, yeah. those foods, they increase inflammation of the airway. And, or, sorry, that's in my asthma. I was thinking of my uh, asthma airway, because right. what happens is when I have asthma, that's, it, I was consuming these omega-6s, high sure. amounts, and it was causing inflammation. That same inflammation happens in a joint as well. So removing those products from the diet can remove that inflammation and then can relieve the symptoms or the, the pain that you're experiencing. So just removing those products. So can, what are your thoughts on turmeric? Or turmeric? You, turmeric, is that what um, you saw it? Yeah. yeah. We, 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 yeah, we, had, we, had, we talked about that. We had a lot of comments on our pronunciation. Oh, we we, we yeah. got to get our speech turmeric. therapist. <laughs> turmeric, turmeric, yeah, I've yeah. heard them all. Um, it's interesting that that's a spice that actually has very positive beneficial effects for the body. Um, some of the research I've read is actually that if you use turmeric with black pepper, you can actually get the benefits longer inside the body. Really? So um, the, the, the liver wants to filter out the turmeric, but for some reason, and, and I don't know the exact science behind it, but black pepper with the turmeric doesn't allow the kidneys and the liver to filter out that turmeric, so really? it stays, so it stays in, the in the body longer. longer. Yeah, and so it gives you better beneficial effect over long term. I'm writing that one down so, too. And now, now I've, I, I know, I think other people are going to be thinking this because a big thing in the last few years is uh, eliminate the, uh, the the fats and or the carbohydrates, and now you can eat meats with all the fats because there's certain fats that harbor a lot of good nutrients, vitamins, and stuff. And so this is kind of confusing me a little bit. So I'm, I'm sure I'm probably not the only one. Yeah. Um, so you're absolutely right. What's What's interesting? If you go back um, 1930s, I don't know if you've ever heard of the name Walter Kempner, no. who's a researcher from Duke University. And what he did was he took patients who were dying of kidney disease, 
Um, they, I'm trying to think of, they had extremely high blood pressure. Um, what he did was he put them on an all white rice, fruit, fruit juice, and sugar diet. And some of these patients were able to regain their eyesight. Their heart oh. size shrunk. They reversed their diabetes. They reversed their heart disease. Um, How is that possible? The diet consisted of about 5% fat, and the rest of it was pure carbohydrate. He had patients that lost weight that were three, 400 pounds, and they would be back to normal weight within You're a matter of years. You're not suggesting this, though, at all. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it. Yeah. Uh, I would suggest a variety of fruits and vegetables. I would suggest not white rice, but brown rice uh, or other types of rice. Mm -hmm. um, but the diet just shows the miraculous power that diet has in, uh, in impacting the body. So the, the diet consisted of about 90% carbohydrate, and these people were getting well. So to think that carbohydrate's the villain, it's actually, it's not the carbohydrate. It's, it's the food. The food is what carries the carbohydrate because carbohydrate isn't a food group. It's, it, foods sure. and vegetables are food groups. Carbohydrates are in those Sure, sure. Those food groups. So, so. I, I mean, I, I cut out carbs in my diet. Basically, the carbs I was cutting out were like spaghetti, um, breads. And, I mean, I dropped 10 pounds without trying. And, you know, so, I mean, I'm seeing the other end. Of it. it seemed like carbs were the culprit for me. Was it because of the vehicle that I was getting them in? I mean, was it the... It, the... it can be. Um, there is a, a great work by uh, Dr. John McDougall who... His, his whole premise is a starch-based diet. Uh, because when you look back in time and you look back through the years, uh, individuals are consuming um, starches like rice, potatoes, beans, corn, uh, oatmeal. Um, populations all over the world uh, have found that when they follow a starch-based diet, they're trim, they're healthy, uh, they're, not, they're not sick. And we need to... In my Again, mind, this is blowing if, my mind. If, if we move <laughs> back to that, um, that that's a diet that I think we can all recognize as being uh, excellent for us. Thirty years ago, China was full of trim, young, healthy-looking people. Now that KFCs and McDonald's have right. gone over there, now people are becoming <laughs> ill. Um, right. So we have to look at, you know, the food as the major vehicle for causing disease. Oh. So I guess what I'd like to tell the viewers, if we're going to wrap this up here, yeah. um, is to, it, there's a great book by the name of Dr. Caldwell Esselstein called Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. Could you pronounce, pronounce oh, yeah. that again? Yeah, uh, Caldwell Esselstein. Caldwell yeah. Esselstein. And I'll, he put wrote it down, a, I'll put it down below. I'll actually put okay. it on the screen. Okay. And on, the, on the wall. Sure. Yeah, and his book is called Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. All right. Um, there's another website you can check out uh, by... It's run by Dr. Michael Greger. Okay. It's called nutritionfacts.org. And he provides little five-minute video clips and, and a blog every day on nutrition news okay. that you can use. And he links all of his sources under there so you can go through and you can read them. They're all peer-reviewed. Um, he tries to give you the best medical literature he can because his grandmother had heart disease. And she ended up reversing her heart disease. She had been wheeled into the Pritikin Longevity Center and in a wheelchair, unable to walk, with crushing chest pain. And 10 days later, she walked out without her wheelchair, and she lived another 31 years wow. by following a plant-based diet. Wow. So it, it's amazing. She was sent home to die, and she ended up living another 31 so, years. I think we, so, just, we just touched upon this today. I mean, right. just barely. Yeah. So you really are going to need to check out resources here in order to become more educated on it. I so. really yeah. think we're, we're, we got it. This is one step Closer, Bob. You know, to uh, fixing that broken heart. You yeah. better believe it. So, if, you don't, if you're new to the channel, Brad and I can fix just about anything. But that broken heart. But we're working, working on, on it. it. We're helping by Craig. Craig, is, Craig is doing great. So, once again, thank you, Craig, for your yeah. helpful yeah, information. For yeah, you're welcome.